All right, thanks a lot, Carly. Well, some days are just absolutely no fun because there are things that we need to do. Errands to run, it never stops. That's why hobbies and passion projects are so important. Motivational speaker Rich Bracken is back with us this morning to help us just add some joy to our lives. Always good to have you. Thank you so much. It's good to be here, and it's good to in insert that intentional joy in the day. Yeah, so tell us, for those who don't know, what are passion projects? So passion projects are these things that we invest ourselves in that we're not necessarily trying to make money or make a, make a career out of it, but it's something that we're really intently interested in and that we spend a little bit more time than a, per se a hobby because hobbies are nice every now and then. Mm -hmm. Passion projects are where we really dive in, we want to invest the time, we want to be very intentional with those types of things. And what they do is they help us learn, they help us expand our horizons. There's lots of benefits to them, but it's important that we do those things because, as we talked about in the lead, it's, and all of those things take away from our joy. So yeah. by being intentional with a passion project, you're actually putting more joy back in your day. Okay. So let's dive in a little deeper. Why is it so important? What does it do to our lives uh, to include this? So it enhance, enhances our joy, as we've talked about. Mm -hmm. It helps with our energy, too. Because if you think about having a list of things that you've got to do all day long, but you have that passion project time that you blocked on your calendar later on, you have joy and momentum going into the day. Because you can think about, okay, let me get all these things done that I need to get done. That way I can focus on the thing that I want to do. To do. So it's, it's, it's it that joy in. Because things are sucking on us all day long. Things are taking away our mental capacity, mm -hmm. our joy. And by by doing that, we're taking our power back by inserting that joy. Yeah. What advice would you have for someone who maybe has a very tedious or demanding schedule or job if they want to start a passion project? Sure. Everybody's busy, right? Everybody's got yeah. too much stuff to do. And I, I talk with people all the time as I'm coaching or giving presentations, and they say, well, I'd love to do all these things, but I don't have time. Do a daily audit. Sit down and look at your day. Where are you spending your time? If you can find five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes throughout your day, which we, uh, we can all find that, even if, if it's a matter of getting up five minutes early, 10 minutes earlier, mm -hmm. staying up a little bit later, we can find that time. But when we have a passion project on our mind, that time becomes more valuable to us. So we're more apt to make that time for, the, for those mm -hmm. activities. But by doing that, we are controlling our day. And so everybody talks about how the day just gets away from them. Yeah. By making that a priority. You can take that control back. But finding that time is so key. And, you know, a lot of us, I'm guilty of it too. I can spend 15, 20 minutes just scrolling on social media. There's my passion project time right there. There you go. Right, yeah. right. <laughs> Since I'm a visual person, mm -hmm. can you help me understand? Give, give me some visuals. Like, what are we talking about in terms of a passion project? What sure. is that? What does it look like? Sure. So I'll give a perfect example. Like music is a good thing. A lot of people, you know, I, I will say that I regret giving up piano lessons as a kid because I just, I didn't sound like whoever I wanted to sound like on MTV. <laughs> yeah. I dated myself a little bit when they played music videos. But what, by diving into like a musical instrument. It's a or great, an okay, art yeah. project or a sport or just learning something new. A lot of people now are taking up foreign languages because, mm. not because you're going to make a career out of being a translator, but it's nice to actually oh. learn that new language because it's enhancing ourselves. It's giving ourselves more mental capacity as well. So lots of people do those, or there's different charities or organizations that you can get involved in because it's true to what your interests are and what you're, what you're really truly invested in. I love that. Great ideas. Yeah, start a passion I ask, project. He yeah. will answer. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. Every time. Well, Rich, where can people find you? Uh, they can find me in Miami at South Beach um, <laughs> or in Miami Beach, or they can find me at richbracken.com. So you got an invitation. I am not. I, I got invited, so that commercial did not apply to me. Okay. I have an open invitation to Miami Beach because I'm, I'm chill. I'm chill. Have you been to South Beach? I have. I have been there, and it is fantastic. And I, I will say. Did you party when you were there? Maybe, maybe, maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit, which is why I'm glad that I got out of that before that commercial hit because I would have got my feelings hurt. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I love it. Thanks, Rich. Thank you. Great so to see you.